Dr. King, thank you so much for doing this. I appreciate it. Yeah, um, thank you. Coming from a family with, I mean, such famous parents, your dad, Martin Luther King Jr., your mom, Coretta Scott King, um, it's kind of, uh, it's very big shoes to fill as far as uh, an activist. No kidding, wow, yes. <laughs> I very mean, big, humongous. Yeah. I can't even walk in them. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's been the, the lifeblood of, of my family. Um, yeah. And you know, I, I've kind of given my life to that. I, I can't even imagine not being connected to what's happening at this moment. I don't know how anybody can imagine yeah. not being connected in some way in this moment. Well, what do you think your parents would uh, think of this moment? You know, I, I have to first say my mom would be um, exhilarated because she was always committed and dedicated um, to uh, the next generation. That's one of the reasons she founded the King Center, where I serve as the CEO, which is the official living memorial to uh, the life, work, and legacy of my father. And, um, you know, she would be so excited and really encouraging them to continue a nonviolent, uh, peaceful protest uh, because it continue, it helps to keep things focused on the true narrative. Um, unfortunately, there have been those left and right extreme who have, you know, infiltrated and tried to change the narrative. Um, but, but thank God, these, these nonviolent peaceful protesters, these young people are saying, no, this is what it's about, keeping it on justice. Uh, I follow you on social media, and you're doing a great job uh, with all of that. And one thing I found interesting is you were saying uh, you, you, you love that everyone's quoting uh, your, your father, and, uh, but it's also interesting because he was hated. Uh, and yeah. obviously in 1968, yeah. he, not like he's the most popular guy. At one point, you think you said he was one of the most hated men in the country? Yeah, you know, I, I say all the time, I've been saying this probably two years when I go around speaking um, in this, this country and around the world. I say, you know, in 68, my father was one of the most hated men in America. And now he's one of the most loved men in the world. So much so that, you know, people do take liberties to kind of take different quotes to fit their situation. Um, and nothing is more frustrating for me than that. Um, you know, yeah. I'd say to people, if you're gonna, if you're gonna use his words, try to find the context of those words that he used them in. For instance, when he, when he talked about riots being the language of the unheard, he was not justifying and saying that he endorsed riots. Um, he was explaining where the riots are coming from. The other one that gets taken out of context all the time is, you know, I have a dream that my four children would one day live in a nation where they would not be judged by the color of the skin, by the con but by the content of their character. And people are always saying Dr. King was for a colorblind America and nothing could be further from the truth. I mean, he was basically ex explaining that, no, there's a beauty in who I am as a black person, but I should not be judged in, in, by those standards. Um, and so it's not that you don't see my race, you yeah. see my race, you acknowledge my race, and you accept everything I bring along with that. The beauty of the movement now, finally, for Black Lives is the collection of who we are as America, uh, fighting and standing side by side with our Black brothers and sisters to affirm that Black Lives Matter and my hope is that we'll move from protest to, to really solving problems, to really working on um, paring down systemic uh, racism and deconstructing, you know, some things in our society and reconstructing on a foundation of, of love, justice, and nonviolence. Uh, I, th I think what you, what you came up with is a really uh, important thing. It's an online protest. And, and you, Explain why you did this, because it's, uh, I think it's brilliant for anyone who is afraid to leave the house because of the pandemic. Yeah, the, 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 yeah, the people who were afraid to leave the house because of the, the pandemic, you know, those that have, you know, those uh, comorbidity um, um, situations, um, people who may be in communities that are far away from um, the, the epicenter of where this is happening in different states across the, the nation. We wanted to invite them in to what's going on in our country, this protest. 
So we established an online protest uh, at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time every night. Um, you can find it at the King Center Facebook page or King Center YouTube. Um, yeah, and, kingcenter.org uh, slash King online Center. protest. We'll, we'll exactly. put that on the screen. Yeah. Exactly. Um, and, um, you know, we wanted everybody to come on and be able to express the things that they're thinking. But more importantly, without all the noise of what's going on, um, in, in, in social media and in, in the traditional media, we wanted to be able to encourage people to move simultaneously as the protesters are moving. We want to move in terms of m solutions and, and action. So we are encouraging people. We started with the arrest, but now we have that um, that has occurred, thank God. And now we're calling for people to raise their voices and begin to bombard the uh, Congress and the Senate on the uh, chokehold ban. Um, and so I'm just encouraged by what this protest is doing and the capability of what it can do. And it may be something we will continue because, you know, at some point, this might be a long time that people in the streets, but if they cease to be at any point, we're going to, you know, continue to to raise these issues and, and, and keep people in that protesting mode because keep we them have engaged. To keep the pressure on. Exactly. Keep people keep engaged. Keep that momentum. Uh, I'm definitely, uh, I'd love to join. I cannot wait uh, to, to do to that. Have you. You, you know, we just, we want to, we want to continue to keep people aware and conscious and working towards the solution. And, and really we've got to uproot um, white supremacy and, and racism in our society once and for all. I mean, we, we're here now. We can't go back. Nope. No. Well, so, so, so. You know, I'm asking all of my white brothers and sisters do do the anti-racism work. It's it's essential, um, and it's nothing to be scared of. It's nothing to be scared of. Thank you so much for coming on our show. Hashtag online protest, and uh, I, I I'm going to be involved. Uh, Thank you. I what, whatever it. whatever night I, I can, any way I can do it. I really appreciate you taking the time. I know how busy you are, and I'm honored to have you on the show. Uh, thank, thank you, you so I appreciate much. you, Jimmy. Appreciate what you're doing now. Thank you. Uh -huh. on and on and on. Uh, I said. And it's on and on and on.